here at the church again. About to fly a little mission. Focus looks good. Start mission. Get in the car because it's well, it's not too bad right now. It's a little breezy, but it's gusty too. I'm doing a mission it's going to go down the road to the park and back up here i've got the speed set for 30 miles an hour at 400 feet <laughs> otherwise beautiful day 402 feet altitude 327 feet distance 28 miles per hour 95% battery. 95% battery. It's a brand new battery, fully charged, and it's only 95% when I take off. What the hell? What up with that? Not seeing my overexposure warning. Must not be overexposed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Great picture. Battery. Good speed. The other thing I was worried about was after making the turn, coming back because it's going to fly into the wind, but it doesn't look like that'll be a problem because I generally will lose my connection right around here. But May or may not. If I do, it only be for a brief couple minutes, minute. The only thing my concern was this uh, wind on the way back, but it's not that strong. I still got connection. 399 feet altitude, 4,202 feet distance. 28 miles per hour. 91% battery. It's making the turn now. Nice. Didn't lose connection, that's good. Still pretty good speed. It's gonna come up the road, just kind of scoot around the area. And that's it. Six feet altitude, 2,990 feet distance, 12 miles per hour, 82% battery. A little glitchy there was saying it was only six feet altitude. What up with that? Playing into the wind a little, but it's not really making a big difference. I got the sun hood on this thing, so it is it is helping a little bit. Turn away from the 
sun. The sun's getting low. It's about four o'clock. Yeah, it's a little breezy, but it's not really affecting the flight that much. It's, it's about a probably a nine, eight mi nine mile an hour wind. Sustained. Seven feet altitude. 968 feet distance. 15 miles per hour. 70% battery. Get the car warm up. <laughs> Slowing down bigly here, as Trump would say. Slowing down very bigly. But I'm not concerned because feet altitude, 1, feet distance, I have control. Miles per hour, battery. And I know I won't lose signal over here. Nice view. <laughs> This battery I got it. I bought it on eBay. I got it for about fifty bucks, including chip, and the guy charged seven dollars. And uh, I got a notice. This is about a month ago, about three weeks ago, that it said it was delivered. I go looking at the tracking information. It says it was delivered to some place in freaking Massachusetts, where I live in New York, and the guy gave me the wrong tracking number. So I waited and waited and waited. Five feet altitude, 3,274 feet distance. After two hour, weeks, I reported it battery. to the post office as lost. And uh, the guy reported it. He put a claim in for it with the post office. And uh, anything over like a week is considered lost because of his shipping method. Um, he, he shipped it ground because it was a battery, but still, it should never have taken that long. It took a month for me to get it, and I got tracking update yesterday, or today rather, saying it was delivered. I'm like, holy shit, I never thought I'd see this. But he did refund me, and hopefully he got his uh, money back from the post office, so we both win. If he contacts me and says something about getting it delivered, I'll, I'm, I'll just... I'll give him like 30 bucks because uh, I'm not going to have to screw anybody. But he did make me wait over a month. 400 feet altitude, 2,462 feet distance, 27 miles per hour. I don't know if it's his battery. fault by the shipping or if it was the post office, but I mean, he said I'll ship within one day of payment. And I paid him as soon as I bought it, and I get it a month later. I almost bought another one on Amazon. Because I wanted to have another backup. But. Anyways I got it. This replaces the one that. Uh, died. When uh, my drone crashed. And spent three months in the woods. Under three feet of snow. It was still 80% charged. When it crashed. So it got wet. And it fried itself. 
had this big gas bubble underneath it. It was useless. It wouldn't plug it to the charger. It wouldn't do anything. 400 feet altitude, 982 feet distance, 27 miles per hour, 46 percent battery. There's the new Amazon's going to be up there. These people that live down here are like dead against it. They're fighting tooth and nail for them to not to put it in. They want their little community undisturbed. I want to work there part time. I hope they build it. <laughs> Supposed to. I guess they're back in court again over it. Feet altitude, 1,173 feet distance, 18 miles per hour, 42% battery. It's coming back now, almost done. Yep, it's a 12 minute flight, pretty much exactly 12 minutes. Did good in the wind. I gotta kill a little battery. Mission ended. Turn over to first person view. Four hundred feet altitude. 217 feet distance, 27 miles per hour, 35% battery. Lens hood is working as advertised. <laughs> not getting any of that side glare, or a little bit of it, but not that bad. Feet altitude, 2,335 feet distance, zero miles per hour, 28% battery. I wouldn't be able to do this with my Phantom 3. I would get so much interference that it would be ridiculous getting a little interference now get away from the tower I'm kind of low too 25% I'm gonna bring a little bad boy home little moto land Morning. aircraft battery at 25% 276 feet altitude, 2,147 feet distance, 26 miles per hour, 24% battery. <laughs> Morning, aircraft battery at 22%. Put it in GPS mode. Good speed, I got the tailwind. Morning, aircraft battery at 
271 feet altitude, 848 feet distance, 21 miles per hour, 20% battery. I might fly another mission because I got another full battery. And wind isn't that bad. Maybe I will. We'll see you in a minute. Right on spot. she comes or he suppose you have to assign these things a gender Ah, very nice. Wasn't landing where I wanted it to. I had to take over. But. How you doing? Do another flight. Do you know about? 